Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we're surviving once again, this time in the weird world of Breakwaters. Now, this is a game I've been following for a while now. I seem to say that about a lot of the games I play, but I do follow games for a long time. This one is looking extremely good, though. In this game, well, it's a survival game like others, so you start off by punching things and uh, collecting resources, as per usual. Also, there's a rat in that damn thing. Okay, I didn't expect the rat to just ragdoll everywhere. I kind of love that, actually. But this game is all about water bending, and, uh... <laughs> kind of like this i i don't know if this is a glitch or not i should mention this is closed beta right now so uh yeah things are susceptible to change and um yeah i don't, i'm not really sure what's going on is the coral scared to get wet or something is it this rock maybe it is this rock i, I know a lot of things have to do with elements so sea crystals i think are the thing so if i break this will this fix itself oh my god that's so cool so yes the water avoids the sea crystals for whatever reason i don't know too much about it but oh my god is that a freaking giant just walking around <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed already. I haven't even left the freaking beach. But yes, that's what makes me so excited about this game. This whole premise of water bending is a huge thing. For example, you might see a massive cave underwater. And well, you don't need to swim down. You just got to build these things so you can part the water so you can get down there. But yeah, there's lots of things around. As you can see, this world is freaking beautiful. We got storms in the distance. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but this is the closed beta right now. So I'm going to be checking it out. If you guys do like this, uh, I actually talked to the developers and the saves should not be reverted when the game does come out. So we might play a little bit more of this if you guys are down to play it. Uh, anyways, we got a, a fellow humanoid over here. Hello, sir. Don't run away from me. I'm an archaeologist studying the turtle titan you see in the distance. I tracked it and the relic to this island. I feel like the relics are, and the titans must be related somehow. Help me find the relic and uncover the truth. But first, I'm starving. Gather four sea enemies from the ocean and bring them back. I can't work on an empty stomach. And we get some refined yellow crystal torches to do that. What the hell did I just eat? Well, I hope it wasn't poisonous. What is going on here? We're we're sinking, dude. Uh, what what the hell is seriously going on? All right, well he's probably gonna die, but hopefully I can do this quest first. There's, is there tides in this game? There has to be because this is way higher now, dude's just swimming around. Well, he wanted me to get sea anemones, so let's um see if we can maybe part this wall. Oh, I like it. I like it so much. Okay, so yeah, these things are basically here for me to explore the ocean's floor. Oh my god, and then we can just pick these up, right? Please tell me we can pick this up. I don't want the glass bottle, but I guess I'll take it. Ah, okay. This is so cool already. I think... That's what we need over there. So we'll just move this. Okay. <laughs> I am loving this. That's what I need, I think, right? I hope. Okay. Yes, there we go. Sea an enemy. <laughs> I don't know if there's monsters down here or what. I'm just looking for sea anemones. They're harder to find than it seems. I, I kind of want to go deep and see if there's like a bubble around us. So I'm going to head down this way because... I don't know. Oh, I, I think if it gets too deep, it just doesn't work. It's not like an orb around it, but I do see we got sea anemones down here. Uh-oh, okay, drop that down there. We should be able to get it now. Grab it. Perfect. I don't know how many of these I needed. I think it was four. There we go. I got it. All right, we'll drop this. Oh my God, it's so hard to tell where the hell I am. Okay, my other one's right here. Perfect. So that should give us to the ground. Perfect. Let's just grab a few more of these. I didn't mean to destroy it. Damn it, I didn't realize they could take damage. That actually kind of sucks. Okay, but this should be enough to feed this weird guy who likes these things. <laughs> like, look at it from a distance. That is actually insane. I love it. Okay, we'll go back. Man, we actually explored a lot. You know what? I think I'm just going to take one of these with me. I'm assuming they're going to be easy to make. And we'll grab the other one later if we absolutely need it. Well, it looks like my home dog's not swimming anymore, at least. Wow, yeah, it must be low tide right now. Look at how far it is out now. Ah, uh, did you gather sea? Yes, I need four sea and enemy. Yes, I get... Sure, take them. While you were gathering, I built a fire pit. Here, go ahead and place it on the ground. Talk to me again after you've placed it. All right, so I think we'll just live with this guy for the time being. He, he seems like a nice lad to have around. He's helpful. Um, so yeah, we'll just build here. Now quickly get the sea and enemy onto the fire pit before they completely dry out. Gotta keep them moist for the best flavor. Yummy. All right, so we're gonna need to get some sticks and whatnot. I'd like to get a weapon. That'd be great. I can make this hardened shell axe once I find some seashells and whatnot. Um, can I just punch trees? Yes. Well, one of these games. Perfect. Okay, so I got a few sticks or tree branches. I hope I can use that as fuel. 
Can I really not use that as fuel? Oh, okay. We got 13 seconds. Jesus. Looks like this can only hold one food. How does that only 13 seconds of fire? Oh, God. This is going to be a hardcore game, isn't it? Well, that took forever. Maybe not the best idea. I probably should have just looked for sticks, but God damn it. Free coconuts. Yes, please. Oh my God. Don't tell me I have to punch this more. Oh, you bastard. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it pops out palm logs every now and then. I'm hoping that will last a hell of a lot longer because Jesus, that was rough. Nine seconds. Really? This fire freaking hates me. What the? Who's? What? What? What the hell's going on with me? Oh, is that a hardened shell? Is that is, is that what I needed? Yes, I, I needed two hardened shells though. What is going on? Who's hitting me? Let's just maybe eat this thing. See if that helps me. Screw off. Actually, you know what? I need hardened shells to get an axe. So let's try and get this done. Yes. Oh, I thought I needed two. I guess I don't. So I just need sticks now. Let's go get this done so we can uh, actually make a fire. <laughs> there we go. Finally. Give me the hard axe, and now we can build a builder's bench later on. All right, let's try this bad boy now. Oh my god, I'm getting like two per swing. Okay, definitely worth it. Um, I'm gonna head back to the safety of my little base here, and uh, I guess we're chilling here for the night. Let's finally cook these things up. Okay, yeah, that's definitely hunger that's hitting me, so my god, the hunger in this game is ridiculous. Um... I at least now have an axe, so I'm going a hell of a lot faster. And I can actually cook these things. The annoying part is I have to kind of stand here because I, I can only do one at a time. Oh, I love that the fire actually gets bigger the more you put on here. Oh my god, we're going to burn this friggin' place down. Okay, that should hopefully give us enough to cook these things. I wonder if it cooks faster, too, the higher the fire is. Like, look at the size of this thing. Okay, finally here. These look great. I'm sure they will taste just as delightful. Now back to the task at hand. Take my treasure map. If you use it, you can see where the relic is buried. Let me know if you're ready to seek out the treasure and I will help you retrieve it. Okay, let's look. Let, yeah, I'm cool with a treasure hunt. Why not? My research says it will be buried in the ruin made of Titan stone. The Titan stone ruins. Titan stone is unbreakable, but that is okay. We won't need to. Treasures like this were once blocked by the ancients. You will need to create a shovel from a builder's bench. You need to dig for treasure, right? While you do that, I'll put together something special to help with the puzzle. Okay, so we got to do a builder's bench next. What does that need? Ah, tree branches and seagrass. Easy job. I can do that in seconds. We got seagrass all over the place over here. And just like that, we got our little bench. Got bandages, different types of armor. Ooh, solar still. Okay, we definitely want to worry about water sooner or later. So it's looking like it's actually quite complex. We got building in this game, obviously. And a crap load of weaponry that we have to unlock. Interesting. So we needed to make a shovel. Uh, ooh, okay. So we need the hardened shell. I saved that. That should be easy to get. I'm using his box. Yeah, it's in here. So yeah, it looks like most things are just crafted with seagrass. Thankfully, that's uh, in, a, in abundance around here. So we'll get this done. And yeah, go dig some treasure out of the ground. Sounds fun to me. All right, here we go. We got our majestic shovel. Can we actually just like dig anywhere? Just out of curiosity. Uh, oh, I'm actually moving it. Look at that. We got a little... What the hell? I thought that was sand. We just found a random cannonball. Can we, like, dig for... Just... Okay, there's just cannonballs everywhere. Clearly, this is a battered beach or something. Anyways, let's go talk to this guy now. We're able to craft a shovel. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm just holding one, you freaking idiot. Wait, I can't... I, I actually have to say no. Wait, what? I was able to craft a shovel, sir. I, uh... Oh, God, what the... What is... Is it because I'm holding it? Yes, it was actually because I was freaking holding it. Okay, well, that was weird. That shovel looks like it'll work great. Now it's time to go find the treasure. Here, I made some refined yellow crystals, a common block. The ancients like to use is burring relics underwater, so you may need to use a refined yellow crystals to push the water away before you're able to use the shovel to dig for a relic. Okay, bye! Okay, so looking at the map, we have to go to the big island at that little dark spot on it. Okay, well, I guess we'll make our way there. Should I get... I should really get some food or something. Actually, you know what? We should probably work on our vitals here. What does it take to make that uh, silo thing that I saw? Okay, so I need redstone. I don't know where the hell you get redstone or green jelly skin. So I guess we're going to survive on strawberries and what whatnot because they actually give me water. I actually haven't mentioned yet. This is procedurally generated, by the way. So every area is randomized, which is really cool to me. Makes for good replayability. And yeah, the, the map seems absolutely beautiful. All right, so we got more of the Yellowstone there if we need it. I'm just going to keep that on the ground because I only have so much inventory space. Uh, this has got to be the area. It definitely looks like the part on the map. Oh, this makes sense. Okay, so X marks the spot, literally. What the hell do I do? Just throw this? Throw it! Oh, dude, that was freaking badass. 
Sir, sir, please, please get out of my way. I understand this is this is your area, but it's now my area, you little jerk. Okay, and diggy dig. Do I have to dig right on the X? No, what the hell is that? It was the Titan Relic. Inventory's full. That's that's a common frigging occurrence. Eat your berries. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Jesus Christ! Uh... Oh, uh, am I am I mentally prepared for this? Why is there spiders? Okay, maybe I should just run away. Oh my god, yeah, I you know what? Screw that. That is way too many spiders for my new bass. Oh my god, they can swim. Why why can they swim? They're spiders. I mean, I thought spiders didn't like water, but I guess they do in this game. Okay, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm gonna kill you all. That's right. Get out of here. Just don't bring your mama here because she's probably frigging massive. <laughs> I love the combat in this game. You just punt them everywhere. It's great. All right, frig off, you spider mutant things. Where did you guys come from? Man, I'm sorry I broke your temple or whatever the hell it was. We still have a few in the water just staring at me. Oh, God, are they, are they spawning more or are they broken? I hope they're broken because I'm kind of scared now. Okay, let's leave. I have to seriously figure out a way to get water, though. Can I drink this? I mean, I don't think I can drink any of this stuff because it's all seawater. But yeah, I I am struggling when it comes to the food department. This is a serious survival game, so hopefully we can get water here soon. I've never seen a Titan Relic before. Some say are powerful beacons. Others say they are powerful weapons. Everyone agrees they hold incredible power. There are structures called Titan Gate Ruins found on some islands. Activating these ruins will block escape paths of the Titans. We know this because of the clues left behind by the ancients. Maybe a connection between these Titan Relics and the Titan Gate Ruins. Hmm. Well, that's a tip now, isn't it? I need time to think. Come t talk to me when you're ready to do something else. I mean, I've, I've kind of enjoyed our quest together, but maybe I should just worry about my vitals because I'm constantly dealing with water issues right now. This freaking tide system doesn't get old. This is so cool. Ah, what the frig now? Ah, get me the frig out of here. What the hell was that? God, I'm just collecting resources. Fire flower seed. I'm assuming that's what just happened. I didn't realize plants are freaking explosive. All right, if we get the leaf hat, we get shade. I'm assuming that helps with um, water. So, well, the tide's down here. It's coming up quick. I want to get a bunch of this stuff. Aha! Give me the leaf hat. Now I can get a spider silk hat. Oh, why didn't I get any spider silk there? All right, well, look at me. I'm freaking beautiful now. <laughs> that's such a cute little hat. Ah, what the f- Where did you come from, you zombie-ass rat? You're gonna make me destroy my structures. I don't want to drop these dead rats because they spawn more rats, so... That's probably what happened there. You know what? Let's just talk to this guy since we're kind of stuck out here. I think it's time to get off this island and search for the Titan Cage Ruins. To get off this island, normally you would use your boat, but you don't have a boat. You'll need to build a flare to call a trader to the island. They'll be more than happy to transfer you to a different island for a price. Oh, okay, so this is just our starting lands. Here, I'll teach you how to make a flare. You should find in your base crafts and learn it. I'm kind of intrigued. I'm excited about the boats as well. We already have the yellow gems. We just need red coral. I saw some of that down here. Actually, we're right there. That's what we need, right? The fire... Where the hell... Why is this working out so well? Perfect timing, low tide. Go grab another one here. And I, I guess we'll get off this land. Seven. There we go. Now we're going. Perfect. Bring me the ferry. Oh my, what the? Where did you come from? <laughs> oh, that's great. What's up, trader? Saw your flare from the depths. What does he need? I have goods to trade. I also ferry to another island. I would like to travel, please. Um, oh, this is cool. It's gonna cost me 10 gold. I don't have 10 gold. You didn't tell me I needed money to pay this guy. I mean, I guess it is a trader. I can sell. Okay, so what we'll do is just sell this stuff. That way I can use this guy to travel. I'm, I'm more interested in traveling than anything else. So let's go, buddy. I hope I don't regret this. This is so cool. And you know what? It's actually part of this map. We're not loading into a new area. It's just far away. So once we get a boat, I'm assuming we can just explore. I thought these were going to be like different procedural areas. But no, we're just going to a different island. Well, the positive part is that reset my health and food and water. So if I'm ever running into major issues, just call this guy and heal up, I guess, and go to different areas. I don't know if there's like different difficulties. I honestly don't know much about this, but I'm... Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh, did it hit? That was amazing. I don't know if that makes me want to go to this land, though. If it's bombarded by friggin' meteors, that's going to be great. Ooh, we're getting some some weird lag right now, loading up this new island. Hey, we did it! I didn't die yet. Crystal Island. 
Okay, hopefully this place is a bit nicer. Looks like it's just a major island. Different resources I'm already seeing. So does every island have its own unique, like, ecosystem? That would be fantastic. I guess I'm on my own now, too. There's nobody on this but me. There is a dark spot. That's probably the Titan area again. I don't know if I want to kill that right now. I don't know what I want to do. All right, we're getting pine logs here. A hell of a lot slower than the other logs I was getting. So there's different levels of logs. Is this the redstone that I needed? <gasps> there it is. Okay, so yes, this is the redstone. Perfect. I don't remember what I needed that for, but I know I needed it. Um, what the hell is that moving? Oh, is that the jellies that I need? I know I needed jelly for something. Uh, yep. Titan Gate Ruins is here. Let's just try and... Oh, I can't, I can't kill it. How the hell do you kill that? Oh, this one's totally different. It's not It's not water like last time. We gotta maybe put a gem in here, it looks like. Titan Gates activate when a large crystal is placed. Okay, yep, that is right. Okay, please don't kill me. I'm just exploring. I'm enjoying this game right now. Oh my god, what the frick? Oh, he's throwing rocks at me. Oh god, this game. <laughs> I think I made a mistake leaving my main island. Oh, there's little hogs over here. What's up, little hogs? How you guys doing? Oh, dude, I this is so pretty. Oh, God. Why do I, Every time I praise this game, those guys try and kill me. All right, so I made the decision. We're going back to my mainland. It's just... Oh, treasure. Before we leave, let's loot this, baby. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. We got pirates freaking treasure. Screw up, crab. All right, well, I guess I don't need to sell some of my stuff to go back on my ship once again but yeah i figured you know this might be a little too hardcore i kind of like the, the base at the other island at least i got something basic started i honestly thought it was a tutorial and we just had to move on but it doesn't look like that's the case so i got everything i need for the boat flare let's just go out and yeah uh i definitely want to explore more of these islands later but i kind of want to get my bearings at a safe island that i'm used to now so We'll head back there for the time being. All right, now I'm going to sell these crystals that I got. I just want to buy some water for the time being. I feel like that's a really good idea. How much do I got? 67. So we'll buy a few of those and then let's travel as well. All right, and there we go. We're back at Familiar Islands. Thank you, sir. Look at the frigging... Oh, I can just pick them up. The tide. <laughs> oh, that's easy fishing, man. <laughs> I just hit the mother load. I was like, what is that glowing? It's frigging salmon. I love that, though. They they actually get affected by the tide as well. I don't know where the hell... Oh, God. You guys are still here? I don't know where my base is. Ah, there he is. My best buddy and my, 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 my friendly base. Maybe we should move this a bit, but for right now... This is just nice. This feels right, you know? I can't even talk to this guy anymore, but he's just going to be my friend for the time being. All right, guys, but I think we're going to wrap up this episode of Breakwaters here. Let me know what you guys think of this game because, well, I love it, but uh, I want to know what you guys think of it as well, of course. I think it's just totally unique, and it has all the elements of a good survival game, in my opinion. The exploration aspect, it looks like the building is going to be quite complex. I do like that you have to unlock things as well. And yeah, I don't know of any other water bending game out there. So I'm really excited to hopefully get a boat on this, explore these weird islands. And I've seen there's massive monsters out there. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, I'd like to continue and uh, hopefully get good at the game because that's the goal at least. But yeah, this is Breakwaters once again. Let me know what you guys think. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.